Temporary dimensions are used for reference and layout of objects inside of Revit. Now, inside of this first floor view, we're going to go ahead and select on one of these column grids. So go ahead and select on perhaps this one. It has the number four associated with it. When you do that, you can see these temporary dimensions show up. Now, what the temporary dimensions allow you to do is if you click on the number, like in this case, I'm going to click on the 25 feet, you can then type, in this case, 20 for 20 feet, and it'll automatically give you that spacing between one and the other. You'll also notice that the next one happens to be, in this case, 30 feet. If instead of being 30 feet, we wanted this to be perhaps 20 feet, we could just click on the number 30, change this to be 20, and you can now see how that's 20, and now this one is 30. So it just temporarily gives you a dimension that reports the information between the objects that it's measuring. Now, in this case, I actually like the 25 foot spacing, so I'm gonna go ahead and change this to be 25 foot, so this is 25 and 25 foot again. Now, something else to know about these temporary dimensions is that they don't necessarily have to go just to these spots that we're currently looking at, but in order to be able to adjust this, let me show you something else. There's this little option down here that looks like a dimension. Well, if you go ahead and click on that and then click somewhere out here into space, you'll now see that these have now become what's considered a permanent dimension. So if I select on this, zoom out, pull it up, you can now see that we have a permanent dimension, one that didn't go away when we deselected anything, up here at the top of the screen. If for some reason we don't want to have one of these two dimensions, it's not hard to make that adjustment. All you have to do is move your arrow over, hit tab, and you can see how I hit the tab key. I'm just clicking on it right now to select one. You can then hit delete on your keyboard, and it will delete that dimension. If you hit escape, that dimension is still there. Now, if I select on this dimension again, I can always click on these dots that show up here. In this case, I'm going to click on this top dot and just kind of hold my mouse button down and drag it over here to the end. And you can see it's starting to give me an updated dimension based on where I'm clicking and dragging this over and touching another object. So let me click here, drag it over. You can see that there's a dimension there. And I could do the same thing here because this is going to be really my main bay between number one and number five. And I can just click and drag that over. And now I can see that my overall dimension of my bay is 100 feet in this direction. And if I wanted to, I could do the same thing going down the sides. So at their heart, temporary dimensions are really just quick reference and modification tools that are provided in Revit structure. They allow you to be able to make quick modifications and get immediate feedback on distances between objects.